on a Saturday. Big, beautiful black Zeus. I got some good news. $350. This is the beautiful 80 bucks, man. You can't go wrong. And I got some bad news. Some nice ones in here. My boy carries men fit. And you'll want it. See, the colors are more developed. The fish jumped out. Right there in that bag. Good choice. All right, I'm so good. Buy it. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium. Hobby, got a treat for you guys today. We are in West Sacramento at Koi Enterprise. I'm here to visit my boy, Anthony. It is a Saturday, which means if I'm ever at Koi Enterprise on a Saturday, it means that I bought a beautiful Japanese koi fish from Japan. So I purchased this bad boy on his koi live sale every Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All of the links will be down in the description below. I highly suggest you check it out. Now this in particular koi fish has been in my bucket list for a while. If you guys are OGs of the channel, you may know what koi fish it is. Maybe not, it's been a while, but I'm here to let you guys know how easy it is to purchase Japanese koi fish. I'll show you a little bit later on in the video how easy it was for me to purchase it. All you gotta do is download the app, which is absolutely free. That's what it looks like right there on the screen. And then you can come check out and learn about Japanese koi fish and then purchase them if you like it. It's really cool. I love the concept my boy Anthony put together. So anyways, let's walk around. Let's see what they got. This is his beautiful show pond. Look at these giants. Those are monster Japanese koi fish behind me. I can sit here all day and video this pond but let's walk around i'll show you a little bit then we'll get home and i'll show you the goods let's go all right so like i said we're gonna follow this little path i love this huge boulder it's so inviting to stand on speaking of butterfly koi look at that beautiful butterfly koi looks like a kikusui or a kujaku I'm not sure big fins oh look at that big boy right there that's a big showa yeah big showa right there oh here they all come now I love the Tancho Kohakus that are in this pond. Look at Tancho Kohaku right there. Big, big, beautiful red symmetrical circle. That one's actually perfect. Man, anyways, beautiful fish in here. Look at this monster right here. Monster Oshiba, just a gangster, man. He's the gangster of the pond here. Uh, but you can see the koi, beautiful monsters. All right, walking down the path here. There it is right here. Here's the sign. Every Thursday, live stream, Koi Sales. I'm telling you guys, download the app, all right? It's absolutely free. And then uh, come join the fun. Speaking of fun, oh, look at beautiful Tamasaba goldfish. These are Japanese goldfish imported from Japan. Yeah, you won't see these in your local fish store, trust me. These are absolutely gorgeous. I have four of them in Tiki Falls. And I also have some Shishidama. Now, someone was asking me, I can't remember who it was down in the comments, about Shishidama goldfish. It's another variety of Japanese goldfish um, that everybody is wanting. And my boy Anthony does still have Shishidama goldfish. They look similar to the Tamasaba, except right around the two year mark, their face turns to like a baby. They were bred to have these beautiful big cheeks like a little baby. So they say it's almost like a baby face type of fish, which is pretty neat. I'm telling you, there's nothing like an imported Japanese goldfish from Japan. Now, everything I'm gonna show you guys is for sale, including the huge monster koi fish that he has in his display pond, all right? So feel free, if you see something and you want it, Buy. Oh, here's some beautiful koi fish here. These are $150. Ooh, some nice ones in here. Oh yeah, gosh, it looks like, oh yeah. Looks like he has some Benny Goy in here. The all red kois. Some Showa in here. Looks like a Sanke. Ooh, is that a, wow, look at this one here. This one looks really cool. Looks like a Tancho. Right there, a Tancho. Sunky. Yeah, wow, that's a neat, for 150 bucks? That is actually a steal. I love that one. It's got that red circle right there on its head. There it is right there, for 150 bucks, man. Happy and healthy, that's the kind of koi fish that my boy Anthony has here at Koi Enterprise. Look at these, a lot bigger, uh, a little older too as well. And of course, with that, 
it's a little bit more expensive. But you can see the colors are more developed. Uh, when the koi fish is a lot older, you're basically uh, gonna get what you see, all right? You're not gonna lose color. Sometimes koi fish will lose color. This just increases the odds on what your koi fish is actually gonna look like. So these are a little bit older, a little bit bigger, and a little bit more money. I wanna say the range is anywhere between 500 to 1500 in these two bins. These are the runways here. They're pretty neat, look at that. Pretty cool, right? Oh, look at that beautiful Goshiki right there. Ooh, that's a nice one. Gosh, the colors, I'm telling you. You get what you pay for. Ooh, this is the $350 bin. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? Because we don't have very good lighting here, I'm gonna net some of my favorites out of the $350 bin and put it in a bowl and take a look All at it. All right, my Ohana, here are three of my favorites that I saw in this $350 bin. You got the Benny Goy, all red koi. That is from Dainichi Koi Farm. That is the offspring of the dragon. You gotta have an all red Benny Goy. And my boy Anthony has them here at Koi Enterprise. I'm telling you guys, that is a rare koi fish. And then I absolutely love the Shiro Utsuri, this black and white doitsu. Clean lines, look how beautiful that black especially on the pectoral fins. I love the fact that they're black too. It looks really cool. And I know you guys are looking at the pectoral fins and on that left pectoral fin, it looks like there's a split in the fin. It's not, it's just a streak of white. So he has like a little white streak in the black pectoral fin. Beautiful. And then look at this beautiful Shisui Doitsu. Absolutely love the Shusui koi fish. These are this three that I happen to net up for you guys. So you guys can check out what $350 at Koi Enterprise will get you. All right, this is what I want to know. I want to know if they still have the black Zeus. Yes, they do. I see them. You're probably seeing flashes of white and silver. That is the black Zeus, a new variety introduced to the koi hobbyists. And my boy Anthony has them here. These are super hard to get your hands on. Uh, that's why they're going for, if you look at the price right there, $500 to $1,000. Yes, that's, if you got a black Zeus in your koi pond, major flex in the koi hobby. Now, I actually netted a couple of these last time I was here. I'll show you what they look like up close in a bowl. Some of my favorites, look how gorgeous they are. Yeah, it's hard to tell when they're in a black pond, uh, but when they're in the bowl, Mm, so beauty, beautiful, you can admire them. They're black, silver, and they also change. So they're almost like a golden corn. I think I like more of the silver black color, Black Zeus, just because of the name. These are gems, literally gems of the Koi hobby. So I talked about the Koi Enterprise live sale. This is the beautiful Love Red Shack, where my boy has his Koi live sale. So we can get a little bit of behind the scenes. You guys may have seen this like on the live stream, but to actually see it, see? Studio, he's got his monitors here, and this is where he's at, showing the koi fish. He's got his camera rig, the lighting, everything's all set up. Really cool behind the scenes. Here's some beautiful koi fish for $80. Look at all the platinums in here. He also has some showa, I love the showas. So they're a lot smaller, I'm gonna say, to be generous, they're probably around six inches, but 80 bucks, man, you can't go wrong. So you may be looking at these beautiful Japanese koi fish and say, God, they're so beautiful, they look so healthy. It's because my boy Anthony takes really good care. Quarantine is top notch around here at Koi Enterprise. He actually has the head doctor from UC Davis come here and test the koi fish, especially the ones that come straight from Japan. So they kind of work hand in hand together. So not only does he treat all of his fish that come in from Japan, he treats them with minfin and he quarantines them so you're getting a healthy fish. But it's still always good to treat your fish before you introduce it to your koi pond. And a quick, easy way of doing it is by using minfin. It's a two part treatment, but I just use it one part. Super simple. The inventor of Minfin, Paul Curtis, told me, hey, you can always just do a quick dip for one hour. I'll actually show you guys later on in the video. Minfin takes care of any bad bacterias, um, any bad fungus, external parasites that your koi fish may have. Although, my boy Anthony here at Koi Enterprise treats all of his fish for all that already. This just adds a little extra insurance. 
And when you're dropping, let's say a $500 or $1,000 or even more on a beautiful koi fish, you definitely wanna make sure that they're free from any sickness or illness. So I'm gonna show you guys that he has Minfin here. So if you guys need to purchase it, you can get it on the app. Download the app, I'm telling you guys, the app has everything on it. All right, just like I promised, look at my boy carries Minfin. This right here is what I usually use. Uh, this goes a long way if you do the one part like I'm doing. Uh, they also have it for salt water too as well. That is reef safe if you guys were wondering. And then if you guys wanna actually do your entire pond, you got the bigger box here which treats like, I think it's like 2,200 gallons, this big box. You can order this on um, the app, okay? All the links will be down in the description. Download the app, you can buy fish, you can buy uh, product, it, it has everything. You can buy quarantine systems. I mean, it's really, really cool. So Minfin, this is it right here, 20 bucks, just so you guys know, that's the one I use. Not only does my boy sell beautiful Japanese koi fish here, but he has everything you need to build your own pond. You need pond liner, he has it. Ball valves, he has it. PVC piping, dry goods, koi fish food, uh, pumps, waterfall spillways, filtration systems. He has everything that you need. This is what I call the Koi Enterprise treasure chest. Look at the orders are in here. So if you ever order from the app, the Koi live sale, your fish will be in the Koi Enterprise treasure chest. And if you didn't know, my boy already picked my koi fish. It's right there in that bag. You're not gonna be able to see it, but you will see it as soon as we get home, all right? In three, two, one. Whoo, just like that, we are back home. Behind me, Tiki Falls, my 8,500 gallon koi pond. Now, I'm gonna flip the camera on. I'm gonna show you guys how to use Minfin, all right? We're gonna treat our fish before we add it to the pond. It's gonna treat the fish for bad fungus, bad bacteria, external parasites, and much more. So it's going to give us an added protection of quarantine and it only takes an hour. So let me flip the camera and I'll show you guys how we do it. All right, so we have a five gallon tote here. We have pond water. This is actual water from Tiki Falls. We have our portable aerator by Hyger. This thing is awesome. You just recharge it and you keep using it. It lasts for like 23, 22 hours. This is gonna give the aeration. This is super important, okay? And now we're gonna add our men fins. We're gonna take our little dropper right here. Whammo, suck some up in there. This is perfect. I've been doing it this way for probably over a year. I haven't had any problems with it. Now we're gonna add our fish to our tote and set our timer for one hour. This is how I treat every single fish before I add it to Tiki Falls. Now, don't forget a lid, okay? Cover it, okay? That way the fish does not jump out of the tote because koi fish are jumpers, all right? Let's go ahead and add our fish and then we'll redo the big reveal and talk a little bit about the fish that I picked up. By the way, babies are doing good. They're hanging out, they're curious, they're nosy, and they're freaked out and scared. I hate it when I have to say this on camera, but I got some good news and I got some bad news. Anyways, I came out here because an hour's been up and I was going to go ahead and do the big reveal on what we picked up. I'm so annoyed right now. So I come out here and this was, was like this. It was off a little bit and I just go like this to look and it's uh, completely empty. So that's cool because I don't even know uh, when the fish jumped out. I don't know if it got treated for a solid hour, but I know it was in there. Now I don't have a big reveal. This sucks. All right, so since the big reveal is spoiled, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what we picked up for Tiki Falls. Now, before I tell you guys, I'm gonna show you guys some footage uh, a while back of two specific koi fish that I had, all right? So check it out. In this footage here, I have a beautiful shusui, which is standard fin, and then I had a long fin butterfly shusui, which you can see the long fin. You can see the difference in both of them. Absolutely love the shusui. I love the colors. Uh, it is one of two koi that carry the color blue. So it has that zipper pattern on top. It's got the beautiful blue with the orange lateral lines. It's such a beautiful koi fish. And I love butterfly koi. I'm a sucker when it comes to butterfly. I love the long flowy fins of the butterfly. It reminds me of an angel kind of flowing and swimming through the water so gracefully. Now, some of you guys may be saying, well, you said had a butterfly shisui. What happened to it? Well, it got eaten up by an American bullfrog. I've had problems in the past with American bullfrogs. Now, 
Fast forward, my boy Anthony was running his Koi live sale, right? And your boy went on and I was just waiting patiently and then boom, this happened. This is that item number? 528. 528, comes with 528 Butterfly Shishui. It's a live Koi fish. It's available to ship anywhere in the United States. Ooh, we gorgeous. do up to 10 fish per box at $80 flat rate via UPS overnight. Just make sure that we have your address. If you're wondering how the heck to order, because you don't know how, I'll tell you what, if you go to the link in my bio, there is a link to the Koi Enterprise app. It's a free download. It's iOS or Android, Google Play. You'll watch the replay. So what you're watching right now, you can watch all the way up until Sunday and make purchases on Sunday if the fish are available. We'll talk about a wait list in a minute. This is gonna be item number? Uh, 528. 528. Mel, what are you buying? Oh, Mel bought no. it. Did he? Yeah, he no, did. Oh, he just did. He did. I was boy. reading this little thing. Yeah, <laughs> right now. You need one of these. Good choice. All right, absolutely. That's right, my old hunter. Your boy picked one up. I finally found one. Big shout out to Koi Enterprise. Now check it out. Every Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, my boy Anthony has a live koi sale. You can get these beautiful imported Japanese koi fish from the motherland of Japan. Guess how much I paid for this long fin or butterfly shisui. Just take a guess. A hundred bucks. Oh, your boy got a steal. I'm telling you, if you have a specific koi fish, you can actually request a koi. Send it in to him, all right? Go download the app. He'll have it on the live sale. A hundred bucks for a long fin or butterfly susui from Japan. Are you kidding me? Let's flip this camera around and I'm going to show you some footage of him in the pond since I don't get a close up of him, all right? Check it out. All right, my Ohana. So thanks to Microblyph, we have a beautiful clear pond. We can see what we've picked up. And what we picked up right there, like I showed you guys in that video, is a beautiful butterfly shusui. As you can see, my regular shusui. And now I have my butterfly shusui. Look at them. So pretty. This little stinker jumped out, man. Anyways, this is the fish I've been waiting for patiently and my boy Anthony at Koi Enterprise in the Koi live sale um, had one and I had a jump on it. Right here is my standard shisui and then we have the butterfly shisui or better known as the long fin shisui. I am so excited, super stoked, but also kind of bummed I didn't get a up close and personal look for you guys in my big koi pan net that I have before I release them. Um, but the good news is, is he's eating like a horse and whistling like a bird, I guess you can say. And there you have it. We have a butterfly shusui in Tiki Falls. Big shout out to Koi Enterprise over in West Sacramento. By the way, did I tell you guys they are a family owned business? Support your family owned business, my Ohana. All their links will be down in the description below. Take care and I'll see you guys in that next video. Much love and aloha.